this tragedy. I am pleased to see you once more, Hierarch. I had hoped that our next interaction would be your announcement of Ayer's reclamation. As did I. Instead, the Templar have fallen. Then the threat is greater than I realized. We cannot let the same fate befall Shakuras. It is too late for that. Amon Zerg poured through the warp gate as a tide of flesh and blade. They have already overrun Telemetros and are nearing the shrines of Lazul. This world is lost. With such an infestation, Shakuras must be destroyed. Destroy Shakuras? I will not permit this. Permit? Shakuras was my people's home long before we offered your sanctuary upon it. I will not let this world be a den for Amon's forces. Worlds may fall to ash. What matters is that we endure. To lose Shakuras and Ayer. We are a vagabond people, Artanis. Our true home has always been Ayer. Let us reclaim it together. It is fitting that the daughter of Raja Gaul decides the fate of the world she helped forge. Let us make preparations at once. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the Solar Core now. Without the Kala, the Nerezim are free from Amon's corruption. And to think we called them heretics once. Of all the Templar, you never wavered in the belief that our two peoples could live in unity. It is something I admired in you. It is ironic to hear you say this. All this time, I believed you were reluctant to accept the unity I sought. You and I had many a disagreement in the Twilight Council. For day by day, I saw my people losing what they were. I saw our precious old ways erode. You wished to preserve them. I am Nerezim, Dark Templar. I hold great pride in my people. But you are also Protoss. That is the greater affiliation. That is not what the Conclave believed when we were exiled long ago. Your kind had ire. Our culture is all we ever had. The Dark Templar are heretics. Exiles. We must be on our guard. In alliance with the Nerezim, the Protoss have changed more than I ever could have imagined. Cloaked warriors are now available for deployment. I return to serve. Shadow Guard waits. We are the Blades of Iron. What have you discovered about the Keystone, Faye Smith? Only that my skills may be inadequate to assess it. Explain. Imagine the Terrans obtained one of our fabrication matrices. Could their scientists ever understand its engineering? The task set before me is of a similar scale. The Cell Naga were beings beyond our understanding. Keep working, Karax. I have faith in you. To think, if the Cell Naga could craft a device like this, what else they could have borne? Such an incredible device. I wonder what further mysteries could hide within.
The evacuation ships have reported in. All are present and are being escorted by the Spear of a Dune. This was not an easy decision, but I would rather see Shakuras destroyed than overwhelmed by Amon Zerg. We have much to plan, Hierarch. Tell me, Vorazun, how will we bring destruction to your world? The Zelnaga Temple's phase prism can be overloaded, forcing a spike of energy into the planet's core. Enough of a charge, and the planet will shatter. Amon will not possess my world. I have been thinking about this choice. Are you reconsidering? No. My time here has reminded me of the courage of your people. That we must fight. If we are to suffer, then so too will Amon. We will lure as many of Amon's hybrid and Zerg through the gateway as we can. Only once enough are through to wound him, will we overload the temple and flee. You mean to bleed him? Bold. But we can't risk the forces it would require to do such a thing. Leave that to me, Matriarch. I have learned much from the Dark Templar. have secured the Zelnaga Temple Grounds. Artemis, how go your preparations? I am configuring the temple now, but without the Uraj and the Kallus, it will take time. Time is not all it will take. The temple's energies are regulated by three Zenith Stones. Only once they are destroyed can the temple be overloaded. Until then, we must defend it from the Zerg and their hybrid masters. The Nerezim have long used Kaderan monoliths to protect our lands. I see your face smith has become familiar with them. Indeed, Matriarch. The monoliths are quite deadly and fire a considerable distance. They should prove instrumental in our defense. The moment has come. Let us begin! Zenith stones are destroyed, the better off we shall be. The Zerg will overwhelm the temple grounds shortly. Agreed. Although, should it become necessary, my Dark Templar can sneak through the enemy and destroy the stones. Oh. 
And yet, not a single hybrid. Amon is testing our resolve. Our enemy will come. Vengeance for ire. Exercise caution when attacking a zenith stone. The energies within may become volatile as it is damaged. Southeastern access way.
shall rise anew. Transporting ground forces. Destroy the overlords. Quickly! Shakuris, all of them moving for this temple. Let them come. The Templar will endure. There is no soft surface. Base is under attack. Stones have been destroyed. Once your task is complete, the temple can be overloaded. Understood. And the temple alignment is proceeding well. Now, we wait for the Zerg. Cannons on the hybrid. We must defend the temple.
Patience for ire. my mother once faced. No, Matriarch. This threat is a far greater one, and it will take all we have to resist it. is realigning. It will be ready soon. Hierarch, I have discovered a solarite cache beneath the Zelnaga temple. If we can hold longer, I should be able to retrieve it. Begin the retrieval process, Kerax. We will hold the temple as long as we can.
temple thrums with energy. It is ready. Solarite retrieval is still in progress. If we can hold on just a while longer... successfully warped aboard the Spear of Adun. Templar, initiate dimensional recall. Get to safety, now! Nice worms. The Zerg are poised to breach the temple. Have faith, Matriarch. Your fallen people cry out for vengeance, and they shall have it.
separated from the glory of the Kala. If only I had heeded Zeratul's warning.